So we will s- Hello my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Retro, the Mormon Entertainer here, the most inspirational Mormon in all of Asia here today. Back once again, it's Grand National Day, well, Scottish Grand National Day up here in Scotland, uh, so I need to... Uh, so I'll need to see how, what I can put on as far as the horses are concerned. But anyway, uh, it is Tom and Jerry Sins today once again. And today it is the Yankee Doodle Mouse. Very first Tom and Jerry short to win an Academy Award. The first of many. Here we go. <laughs> Finally, they changed the music. Still not the iconic theme though, so... I'll still take a sin off. So we're already in the negative areas and we've only just started. How's about that? And we'll take another sin off for them winning an Academy Award. Hey, I'm not that evil. A play on Air Raid Shelter. Not cool, guys. Goodness me, how many signs do you need to point out where the Cat Raid Shelter is? With the fact the mouse trap was right in front of the door, it should have been pretty obvious that Tom would have spotted it! Why not just call the box eggs? Instead of hand grenades, why not call it just eggs? Also, Ten eggs, ten cents. What a waste of eggs. You could have easily had those for your breakfast or, at time of recording, lunch. Talking of which, my lunch is actually cooking right now. Do not alert your enemy to the fact you are attacking them. That is... It's War 101. You do not alert your enemy as to when you are attacking them. Dragons! Jerry threw two eggs, and yet three were shown here. Four, five, six. Unless he has a third arm somewhere, he should only be able to throw two at a time. That would cause blindness for life in the left eye for Tom. Oh, here comes the fun part. This is the fun part where I actually count how many corks. This is going to be a very big sin count at the end of the day. Here we go! Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Sixteen corks! There's only eight bottles of champagne there! So sixteen sins for- Oh, for- Sixteen sins. I would say eight because it's eight too many, but this is Tom and Jerry logic. They always use more than what's actually there! I don't recall that basin being there. The brick would have caused that spatula to snap in half. So realistically, that's unrealistic physics that should not work! Unless that brick slices a feather, it wouldn't cause that much damage. With cats supposedly afraid of water, Tom should have been getting out of there by that point. In other words, abandon ship. Barely over a minute in, and we're already comfortably into double digits. At this rate, we could end up in triple digits. Sighted cat sank scene. What do they mean? By, what do they mean by sank scene? Anybody able to explain that in the comments? And by the way, that's not a sin. I'm just pointing something out. I don't quite understand. Very funny pun there. Shut your trap. Yeah, very funny. Very funny. That's not very creative. Tell that that friendly rat. Me tell the cat. Yeah, rats are not supposed to be very friendly anyway. So that's two sins there. 
Jerry would not have been able to see Tom at that point. And as a result, he would have had to have tilted it further to his right just to spot him to be able to pull the wait a minute, did I see him there? trick. <laughs> Cannot believe I'm saying this once again. Tom, have you not paid attention to my previous episodes of this series where mice do not like cheese? No. That wouldn't work. Oh boy. A cheese grater as a jeep. How much damage is that gonna cause? That would result in very severe bleeding. That's gonna result in a trip to the hospital. Jerry, watch where you're going. You are driving a jeep. Or a cheese grater in this case, but my point still stands. Watch where you're going. Do you know what I mean? Flower triple X. Oh, come on, guys. You did not just sneak a triple X reference in there. You did not just do that. Three X's, three sins. Let's just move on. Um, just for the record, Jerry and uh, the animators here. Uh, flower is not lighter than air, so it wouldn't cause... It, it, it would cause the... It would cause that... What's what I'm looking for? It would cause that effect, but then it would just simply float back down to the ground. Again, unrealistic physics! And another thing, how much flower's in that bag anyway? Oh, clearly you're not going to be able to see anything in that mess. So why bother looking? It takes Tom three attempts to realize it was Jerry doing the butt slapping. Three attempts, three sins. That would result in a broken nose. Oh boy. Fireworks. This is gonna end very badly. No. Matches would not light up like that. And now it's time to count the sins for the hot potato game. One pass. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. Okay, I'll give Jerry credit where it's due. Outsmarting Tom by taking the firework back so that Tom has to take the firework back. Very clever. I'm. Oh, I'm. I'm. But surely Tom would have known that was a bad idea, anyway. No, the firework would have gone kaboom by that point. Explosive device explodes when Tom investigates the damage cliche. Another sin right out of the gate for the blackface joke. And just for the record guys, the blackface joke is really insensitive these days. I'm just pointing that out, uh, which is why a majority of the Tom and Jerry shorts now do not show depictions of blackface. Tom, did you not learn from the last time you tried to light up a firework in, from that position? Jerry would not be able to have breath that strong to be able to blow the plane back in the opposite direction. Wow. Why did Tom not see that one coming? Okay, not as bad as the blackface joke earlier, but still a sin regardless. Okay. This scene's actually quite hilarious. And I'll explain why later. But just so we're clear, this the fuse would have burnt out long before now causing the explosion. 
or what we're about to see in this case, which should not work either. <laughs> oh, come on, Tom. As soon as you saw that big fireworks, you should have been thinking to yourself, run for your life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? Huh? Seven there. Seven times where the firework should have exploded. Also, Tom thinks the smallest device won't cause much damage, cliche. <laughs> but I will take a sin off for the creativity of this joke, because it's another it's one of those fine examples of big things coming in small packages. So there's where the box that said eggs was the whole time. It had light bulbs in it the whole time. Why not call that box light bulbs then? You see how inconsistent the logic is? No, that wouldn't fly for long enough to be able to do any damage. Tom, Jerry is in a box full of light bulbs. And you are watching it in amazement. Is that not a clue that he's gonna cause problems for you? Now, I'm sorry, but where was the banana in the box the whole time? We didn't see it! No, that wouldn't work. Have you heard of a thing called aiming, Tom? LEARN TO DO SO! That would cause blindness and some burns. And another trip to the hospital. Wow, great job on subtlety, guys. I'm being sarcastic, of course that wasn't subtle. Tom is a bully to women's underwear. How many explosive rounds are in that thing anyway? And I'm not even going to attempt to count. And yet they sound like a shotgun being fired. Yeah, go figure. No, the explosive rounds would not do that. They would go in one direction. And that's it. And you've got Tom watching this as if he's enjoying it. Oh wait. He is enjoying this! The, ch the chaser and the chased are basically running in different directions from when they were originally being chased, cliche. And then they come face to face and we go back to square one again, cliche. How did they not find out that Jerry's not in front of them? Trust me, the inconsistency with these logic gaps no wonder the sink counts so high at this point. I think we're in trouble figures at this point. Anybody want to keep up to date? <laughs> Explosive rounds do not have hearing. Or sight for that matter, I should have pointed that out earlier. I have those explosive rounds not gone kaboom, never to be seen again by this point. Makes sense, by the way, for the uh, number of explosive rounds that are there. Also, why don't they have the same pattern? Why isn't it red, blue, orange? Because it looks orange on the screen to me. And I say, as far as I'm concerned, it's orange. If it's yellow, I apologize. Anyway, my point still stands. Why is there not a pattern? Why is it not red, blue, orange, or red, orange, blue? Why is it not one of those all the way through? There's no way Jerry would have been able to fit through that hose, meaning game over. Okay, and there's another logic gap there. There was only six explosive rounds! <laughs> okay, okay, I'll take I'll take a sin off for uh, the creativity of turning the barrel into a bike. Really, Tom? A suction cup dart is going to cause damage to Jerry. Really? You really think that's going to work? Well, he actually took my advice on aiming. Soon retracted. Again, the match wouldn't light up like that. 
the fuse would have taken less time than that to go kaboom. Why is Tom not aware of the fact that he's tying himself to the stick? I mean, seriously. How is Tom not aware of this? Tom, look at your hands! Or pause in this case, my point still stands. Tom, look down at the knot! Blowing the fuse is not going to work. The fireworks would not be able to make the American flag. Weren't there 50 states by 1943? Okay. I'll take a sin off for the team doing their research. Well done, boys. And yet Jerry's proud of the fact that he may have just killed Tom off. And more cats. Are you trying to kill the cat species off, Jerry? Imagine if I was around when these shorts were made. Imagine if I was around. I'd be nitpicking him all. Mind you, I'd end up ruining the entire experience for everybody watching, but... Um, the amount of logic gaps there were very, very significant to say the least. This will be fun to edit later. So, anyway, that's it for today, folks. If you enjoyed what you saw, and I'm sure you did, hit the thumbs up. If you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the Latter-day Saints notification squad. Uh, podcast yesterday on the left, and my dedicated Tom and Jerry Sins on the right. So, back to business as usual on Monday. But Tuesday, though, I'll work something out. I'll see you guys again very soon. Have a fantastic day. Peace out. And stay faithful. And if you want to be about to into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell. Join the blah, 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 blah. Yes, that one's going into the blooper reel, guys. Also, Tom thinks the smallest part. <laughs> and a sin, and another sin, blah. Nope. And a sin right out of the gate for the black fleece, blah. Dang it. Also, Tom lights up explosive device for Jerry to go kaboom, only for device to not go kaboom, and Jerry escapes for Tom to capture. Dang it. How am I gonna word this one? Okay, I'll give Jerry credit where it's due, because this starts the fact. This starts the- Damn it! Okay, I'll give Jerry where it's due. Okay, I'll give Jerry credit where it's due. Trying to outsmart Tom. Very clever. Taking the dynamite back. Firework, Kenzie! Uh, Jerry would not have spotted him at that point. He would have had to have tilted it further round so he could see them, so he could see him. Blah. Dang it.